Here we go. We are round one coming at you. We gotta get really focused here. Looks like our first round opponent is playing the uh, the deck that tries to steal all my cards, uh, the Blood Vampires deck. Uh, and we start the day with a really bad opening hand, which we cannot keep, so we're going to replace that one. And this one is much more keepable, so we'll keep this. Give our opponent a GLHF. And open up with a turn one Howling Brave and a turn two Might Singer. Now, there is some um, things where it is you may have decided that it might have been a better idea to go uh, wait to play the Howling Brave after you play the Might Singer, but... I think versus this guy, we kind of just want to go really hard and fast on him. So we're going to do that. Plays a Vampire Prince, yeah. He yeah, exactly, right? Vampire Prince. So here we can play our Might Singer to get us something, possibly. When we do, we get a Gargolith, so that's going to be good in this matchup. So our opponent probably swings because he's trying to get those resources. Yep. And then we'll swing back. He does gain two. We can only do three. So we're, we're really not at a positive place. Mills out a Howling Brave on us. Oh, there we go. Uh, he doesn't have the response for this Carnosaurus, so that's the obvious choice here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and exhaust my howling brave because I can actually let's say he targets our our Carnosaurus if he had if he was able to target our Carnosaurus we can actually protect it with Gargolith so to make sure that we could kill his guy there um yeah I think we just go ahead and swing now but push that damage Gargolith is kind of bad versus the vampire deck because he's got so many things that I mean I guess it's good because it stops him from targeting our stuff but it's bad because he may, um, oh, he's going to close coffins. Okay. Seems like a bad main deck, but I guess versus the, a lot of the other opposing decks that are out there, it's fine. Uh, I, I feel like I'm going to be moving too fast for that to, to make a difference here. Uh, we'll play our Cluckadon here in the second main phase and swing through with my Singer. Play Cluckadon here. Just to push more damage next turn. If he plays a Vampire King here, we're not in a great spot. That's kind of bad for us. Uh, we get Cheese Smith, and then he's going to start stealing our stuff. Gillipede is okay, I guess. Um, okay, so we've got Herophant. So yeah, we'll go ahead and just plug that out there. Shin Hair Militia, sure, why not? Gives me a blocker for his Kilipede, and um, we don't have a swing here, really, unfortunately. Uh, if he swings, we can throw Shin Hair Militia at him, at his guy, to prevent the poison counter. Hopefully he'll play a second guy here. Now is when it's, it's really good if he plays a second guy, because we've got Crocosaur. Of course, we do need to draw a resource for that, but I don't know. We may actually want to hold on to Cheese Smith in case he sweeps. All right, yeah, we'll throw our militia in front of it. I think there's a sweep coming. Fairly good chance of sweep here. It's gonna hero fall our hierophant. Okay, I'm fine with that. So it gets rid of all the hierophants. We actually need to draw a resource here anyway, so that's kind of good for us. And closed coffins puts it away too. Yep, that's fine. We actually don't have a lot of graveyard or crypt recursion in this deck anyway, so. Uh, okay, we got that. Um, we need a blocker here. Um, I think I swing for six and take the poison counter. It's really kind of bad. I definitely want to play the cheese smith here. Start making stuff. Um, throw Cluckadon in front of it. Let's see. He can kill one guy. See, he kills the Cluckadon, then I can kill him. So if I double block Cluckadon and Cheese Smith and my... Yeah, so I don't attack here because I just... 
I just gang block his guy to kill him on the attack here because he can only kill one of them unless he has a, a, uh, a kill spell play an infinitrix sure that's great okay so now we've got crocosaur and he can't do anything so we're fine if he swings through we just take the damage here now we're in great shape he's gonna pump his guy sure get his damage in oh now he's out of crocosaur range yep didn't think about that and he's flying that's yep i think he just won <laughs> oh he's gotta laugh about that one that's a good rip for him off the top there. Um, I think he just won. I don't think there's anything I can do here to stop his uh, to stop his flyer. So that's a really good rip for him. Um, yeah, there's really nothing I can do here. I can kill his Infinitrix and not kill his Kilipede, unfortunately. So yeah, we'll just call it here. <laughs> that's that's a heck of a rip in in round one for him. Um, I, I don't think there's any play mistakes there, but yeah. <laughs> so I don't know he's doing any recursion stuff. Uh, I feel like Carnosaurus is pretty bad here. Rockosaurus is fine. Uh, obviously we need to bring the Justice and Pride's Fall are a big deal here. Cluckadon doesn't do much. Um, we might want Gargolith, but I don't know that we do just because again because he hangs out in my my hand and it feels like something that vampire king's just gonna eat out of my hand um i could crucible i don't think that that's really gonna do much chompasaur maybe i don't know i don't feel like closed coffins is really a bad thing for me and frost wizard doesn't feel like it's gonna do very much here so maybe get rid of gargolith um yeah, that was just a heck of a rip for him. Off the top there. Yeah, I don't think I even care about closed coffins that much. Let's see. Oh, we need to swap this guy, though. We need to swap him so he is... Skyguard Steadfast on all of these. And then... Um, yeah, I think an extra dude is still what we want on him, though, because we want to have extra dudes to play. Um, I think I'm going to keep the Gargolith. We'll get rid of the Chompasaur and just say, you know what, you can close coffins me. That's fine. Or actually, I probably want one of those, extra one of those anyways. So let's do that. Maybe get rid of Gargolith. Yeah, I think Gargolith, more, more often than not, is just going to get eaten by by his uh, Vampire King, so we're going to pull that. <laughs> That's a heck of a rip. You got to admit, that was like, I was like, okay, I'm good. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, you got to laugh about that. We're going to keep this hand. This is fine. Uh, we'll open up Diamond, go wild into Chlorophyllia. <laughs> you just gotta laugh. Yeah, if, if you take things too seriously, you're gonna have some issues. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm like, okay, we're good, we're good. Nope, not so much. <laughs> We did kind of get stifled on resources there, too, for like two or three turns. Um, that was a definite issue. So we'll just slam down the uh, cheese smith here. And um, that's going to create some card advantage for us. And then next turn we've got Forever's Child combo. Unless he kills it, but yeah, we'll see. He's got his vampire. Actually, he would have had it last turn if he was going to have it. He's got, like, closed coffins or something. Oh, he's burying a uh, monsoon, likely. Or uh, the one that, um, uh, what is it called? The one that does minus X, minus X. 
the bunny that does that. Yeah, he's either doing the monsoon or the bunny there. Okay, so we'll go and swing through. We'll play Forever's Child combo in the second main phase. Actually, he has no response for it, so we should have a pretty good board state here. If he sweeps us, uh, that's going to feel kind of bad here, but... I mean, might as well put the pressure on, right? Because we really only played two cards. So. Yeah. That feels kind of bad. We can crack and barrel some of that stuff back. So. So we'll play another Forever's Child here. Uh, or do we go Infinitrix? No, I think I just go just slam another Forever's Child, really. He's got an answer for that. Fentio. Okay. Can actually steal his uh, thing, but that doesn't really help. Um, can't really uh, do anything to us, so we'll play our Infinitrix, give our Forever's Child flying? Or Steadfast. Um, you know, he's not going to block us, so let's go ahead and give it f steadfast here. Actually, he will block us because he's got his... Um, well, this will tell us whether his he's got Monsoon out or not. Yeah, that's not Monsoon. That's the minus X my or no, it is monsoon. I'm not sure why he's why he didn't block then, but whatever. Okay, so now he's got extinction. Alright, sure. So this guy comes back. And then we've got Crocosaur to deal with him. So we have to hold off, wait for monsoon to surface now. Um I can crack and barrel back something here. I can crack and barrel something out of I could crack and barrel his Fentio so he can't monsoon it back, but I want to be able to croc a sore. Um, you know what? I don't think I want him to have Fentio, so let's go ahead and steal his Fentio here. Yeah. So now he can't get it back. And now he just gets monsoon, and maybe he'll play something else. <laughs> it's like, are you serious right now? That's right. It's a, it's a dead card sitting in my hand. I mean, if he ever plays a Vampire King, it'll you know do its thing. But <laughs> I'm taking five here, but I gain a lot of life in this deck. So, And we're, we're playing fairly slowly. There we go. Crocosaur time. Mm-mm-mm. Num, 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 num. Crocosaur. Just eat him up. Eat you up. Eat you up. My Crocosaur is going to eat you up. Um, we're really not in a great spot, though, honestly, because he's four cards to our three cards. I don't really count Fentio here. Uh, it would have been nicer to have played that after the Might Singer, but I feel like I kind of need to keep progressing things. So, oh, there's the Closed Coffins. I'm okay with that. So, really, if he deals with our Might Singer, we're in bad shape here. Pulls a shard out of our deck. That's good for us. Vampire Princess doesn't really do much to me because I don't really have actions in this deck. Except for that one. So we'll go Might Singer into our Chlorophyllia. Let's see. And a Forever's Child. Okay. And pass turn, of course. And he needs to be able to deal with this Might Singer, so hopefully he's got his Hero Fall for it. For him. Hoot doo doo. Yep, sees that I have a Balthazar to draw seven cards next turn unless he can murder this. Yeah, Rock Cast for that, sure. That's pretty good. Um, so we'll Forever's Child here. Might as well swing through and get our one point of damage in. We're gonna hero fall that, okay. Sure. See if he plays another dude. 
here for our crocosaur to eat. He's really not. I think we're at, we're we're ahead right now. Like I said, I'm not too worried about the closed coffins. Like the only thing that really interacts with the crypt in my deck is the uh, whatever it is. The um, yeah, not this guy. Um, sure. Card advantage and a turtle pet. That's not the best. Hero fall for our Hierophant. Yep. Just going to work. So he deals two, we deal two. He gets basically, he does two damage, we do no damage at this point in the game. He knows we have Crocosaur, so he knows he can't really play anything here. Because we'll just Crocosaur his guys, so he's he's fine to stay where he is. And plus he's collecting information on what's in my hand. Mm. I can tell Balthazar here. I hate Balthazar in here, but I really want to draw cards, so... I only draw one card for this. Oh, there's a Bring to Justice. <sighs> That's not a good time for that to be hitting the field. Hitting my hand. I can't bring the Justice's guy until next turn, and so he's got a chance to eat it out of my hands for a Vampire Kiss. So that's kind of bad for me. So maybe I should have waited on that Balthazar. Got a little too eager. But at least I'm dealing one point of damage to him a turn now. You know, net. He's still not in a great spot if he isn't playing anything right now. So. Yes! Awesome. Keep showing him that Fentio that I stole. So yeah, we'll just bring you, bring this vampire princess to justice. Bring you to justice, vampire princess. Yeah, yeah, get, get out of town. Um, yeah, we'll just think three. I don't think I want to play Crocosaur or Balthazar here. So I want to hold on to my removal. Unless he plays like Vampire King. Yep, then now I got to play, yeah. Now I got to play the Crocosaur. Or actually, I wait and hope that he hits not the Crocosaur. And then I, that gives me a chance. Yeah, that's actually the play here. Yeah, that's the play. Unfortunately, that's the play. <laughs> we gotta hope that he hits the Fentio. Like, that's the best case scenario. But, one in... One in three, he'll hit the Crocosaur and we'll be in bad shape. Yes! Oh, yeah! <laughs> now he can kill my guy or murder or whatever he can he can he can kill my guy in response to this crocosaur but we'll see we'll see what happens oh boy wow that was good for me um i guess i'll swing through for three and then i'll have balthazar next turn and we'll just sit on these cards in case he has sweep or in case he top decks a sweep or something here yeah, I really don't care about close coffins. <laughs> That's one of the things I definitely don't care about. Oh, he got the he ate the Balthazar and the other. Oh man. Well, that's good for him. All right. Well, I guess I guess we're gonna sit here. He's, he's placed so much stuff out of play in the deck. Yep, top deck shards for a while here. I think we may lose. It looks like we're losing this one. This is kind of sad. So we'll get pared down here. Uh, there's my Infinitrix. We'll see if it has a removal for that. Oh. 
Yep. Okay, if we if we ever make it to a, if we actually made it into a, a net another game, we definitely want Gargolith in this matchup because just the removal on all this stuff. Oh, Killipede for the win. Never mind. Uh, and I don't think we can top deck a. Uh, I think he he got all our Crocosaurs. Yep. So we can't top deck a Crocosaur here for the win. Yep. We lose. That's unfortunate. Well, there you go. Round one. No play mistakes, though, I don't think. Um, if you saw a play mistake, let me know, and I'll add it to the counter. But, you know, I don't think I made any particular uh, play mistakes here. I think I just... I already knew this was kind of a bad matchup. Um, and I wasn't really prepared for this specific matchup. My deck isn't prepared for this matchup. Actually, you know, actually, I didn't feel too bad about this, because most of the time when I play this on ladder, like, this matchup is not hard. It's not this hard. Um, so... So yeah, we're just good games. And uh go zero one for the day to start out and uh be kinda sad. <laughs> that's that's yeah, that's kind of a sad day when someone kills everything you drop on the table.